Hey guys, welcome back to another uh, A Wolf Among Us episode. Uh, I think it's number six, seven, five. I don't know, but I'm, I'm really into it. I've done like loading in a row. It's bloody addictive. Just want to beat people up. When I get on my bad side. So I'm just getting stuff there. Pepsi. Should I get a cola? Yeah, she'll kill you. I'm smoking nothing. Fucking. If the rooms are anything like the lobby, they should cut their rates. Probably repair that. Yeah, I'm just slate the place now. Though. Want it by the hour or for the whole night? Huh. Oh, uh, you. I work here, okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. So, now you know. <clears throat> I know I should have told somebody, but Beast would lose his mind if you knew. Beast is a proud man, Bigby. He wants to do right by me, and he, he just couldn't handle it if he knew I had to do this so we don't get evicted. You should really tell Beast. He's worried about you. I will, I will. I just need to in my own time. By the way, thanks for covering for me. So, what are you doing here? Didn't say anything really. It was just not my business. Oh, you have a key. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Lily. She, uh, come around here ever? Oh. Oh, yes. The, the troll. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but she came off a tad intimidating. Ever see Lily with someone here? Maybe on a job? Sometimes, but nobody I've recognized. I haven't worked here that long, though. How about a room register? Or someone named Mr. Smith? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's all we get here. Smiths, Jones, <coughs> Johnsons. I think the last ones are jokes. Have you seen Snow White down here? Or maybe somebody glamoured as her? You know... It's funny. I did see someone who I thought looked a lot like her, but she didn't say anything when she saw me, even though she knew that I saw her. I just assumed it wasn't snow and went about my business. Ever meet a girl named Faith? Or just maybe hear that name? I might have. I don't know. By the end of the night, it's, it's kind of a blur with all the names. Tara, Brandy, Amber, Heather... Sorry. Fair enough, thanks. Wait. It'll be better if anyone sees you that they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. Five minutes, please. We'll see, beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. That won't be hard. Hmm. <laughs> I could have to beat someone up. I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something. Which is fine, it's just that I was wondering if I need to be in it. Do you have to mention my name? I mean, it's it's not like Beast would ever see your report. It's just... Don't worry about it. The less I have to write down, the better. Thanks. I appreciate it. Well, here we are. Which one was it? Two oh oh fuck's sake. Two oh seven
Let's go in. You have keys to these rooms? I thought you had a key. Not to this one. Hold on, Bigby. I can't just let you go into any room you want. Seriously, what if someone found out? I could get into a lot of trouble. You have to let me in there. This is the room, 207. But I... This is the room Lily was in. Oh, fine. Me fine. So you guys are so ungrateful. That's <coughs> weird. This key is supposed to open every room in the building, but it's not working. Beauty! Ah, oh, shit. Beast? Big B? How could you do this to me? No, sweetie, no. Wait a minute. How could you do this? We've been together through everything. I took care of you. I love- It's not what you think. Please. You're cheating on me? With him? No, no, Beast. I promise I'm not. I'm helping him. That's all. I'll bet. I'm sure you help each other just great. This is a murder investigation. She's helping me. Stop lying to me. What the fuck you. is wrong with you? She's my wife! Beast, listen to me! There's nothing going on! I'm mad! Uh, hey! Bastard! I guess I finally see you for who you are! Stop! Stop it! Is this you staying out of it? I thought I could trust you! Listen to your wife! Just calm down and- Beast! Ah! <laughs> I'm stronger you mate. Please. Leave him be. This is my fault. I need to get into that room. Pets in that. Dad to punch him. Guess I should have. See this. Beauty, stay in the hall. What? Why? What's going on? <gasps> oh my god. Don't touch anything. Is this is this? Lily met her client here. Mr. Smith, whoever he is. And then must have happened right here. Jesus. Last night? Yeah. I was on shift last night. On shift? Beauty, what? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. I work the front desk. Was anyone acting suspicious? Maybe moving a heavy piece of luggage or... Uh, he got the body out of here somehow. Jesus Christ! No, no, I didn't see anything like that. It just seemed like a totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the front door. Keep people out of the hallway. I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But just do what he says. I'll explain later, okay? Bigby, what kind of a person could do something like this? Kinky one. Exactly what I'm about to try to find out. <coughs> Stop you. I can't believe this. Do all the rooms have these same clocks with the built-in cassette player? I think so, yes. What is that? 
It's a book about Snow White. Or about the Mundy version of her story, anyway. The whole book is about her? Yeah. Why is she in a glass coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. We shouldn't even be in here. Where'd you get that? Lily had it in her hand. In case there was any doubt over who died here. Hmm. Oh, we're sunk in a... What is it? Bigby! It looks like Snow's coffin from the book. He's reenacted the scene with her lying here, surrounded <coughs> by flowers. Mr. Smith put Lily to rest here. That, that makes sense. I mean, it makes creepy, obsessed, sicko sense, but taking a terrible thing that really happened to Snow and setting up the scene in a hotel room with a prostitute and then killing her for real. God. What is that? God. He brought wine. Classy. It's a huff and puff. I thought you were the only one who smoked that crap brand. Apparently not. My rival. Oh, 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 oh. Big beat this. I think I heard this music last night. It was playing pretty loudly for a while, and then stopped in the middle. I didn't think twice about it at the time. I, I mean, you hear all kinds of things around here, and I guess I've already gotten used to blocking them out. Could have I suppose. the sound of the murder. <coughs> Just unbelievable. All right, let's take a look at this dress. Oh, shocking to... Someone's been rough with this dress. It's torn. Oh no. She must have been wearing it. He killed her and then and then he took it back off. No, there's no blood on it. It must have been torn some other time. What? What are you thinking? <laughs> this is the same dress as the one in the book about snow. I think Smith was dressing Lily up in it. To recreate the snow from the book. You're right. It's the same dress. It fits. He's acting out scenes from the book. That poor girl. She couldn't have known. She probably just needed the money. She could have been anyone. Mm. How did she wind up here? I mean, not exactly here, but just how does a person... Georgie took advantage of her when she was in trouble. He's a real predator. Yeah. Yeah, that's it, really, isn't it? She must have been so scared. Is there anything else you can tell me about last <coughs> night? Anything that sticks out in your mind? Sorry, no, it just seemed like every other night does. That's exactly what's bothering me. From now on, I'll just be down there imagining this. How can I find out who rented this room? Find whoever has the key? I'm pretty sure this one must be held long term. And we don't keep a register or anything. This place is intentionally kind of anonymous. I keep hearing that.
Das ist nicht erst zehn besser gegangen. Das ist ein bisschen stupid. Okay, get it Jules. Yeah, I'm out of it. I guess I do have to talk to you. <coughs> God, it's so buggy. I'd better not find out you're hiding something from me about all this. What the hell is wrong with you? I'm not involved in this. Please, just do whatever you need to do and let's get out of here. I'm done. Unless I'm being completely stupid. <sighs> the bed itself, maybe? What else can I do? I'm at the dress. Bin? Fuck me. I just want to do something really stupid. Oh, here we go. single bite taken out of it like in snow story oh no do you think it was poisoned it wasn't I'd have smelled that I think it's just a prop it's here because they were acting out the scene in the book of course that makes perfect sense he's just acting out another part of the book god I can see the whole picture now it, it all goes together like you said this creep put that girl in a snow white dress and, and recreated the whole story from the book with the apple and, and the deep sleep and everything. You're a better detective than I thought you'd be. Thanks. <laughs> so he planned it all out. He had all the details noted down. Only then, when it comes time to kiss her and wake her up. Yeah. I hope you're just about through. I don't really want to stay in here any longer. Go Oh, oh, fast Oh, are those pictures of the dead girl? How do you know? I'm in this one. It was taken last winter. Oh no. Bigby. This kind of stalking, it doesn't just stop by itself. Trust me, I know about this firsthand. He'll keep trying to get closer and closer. His stand in for snow is gone now, so. The next step closer. What is it? It's <gasps> Crane. Why would you take a picture of yourself, you widow? Fucking, I like built into kinky shit, but bloody hell. Why would you do that as well? It's all coming together. be after you now good I am dying to get my hands on that disgusting weasel I'm really starting to like you sheriff you're not afraid to be a complete bastard I'll beat you up again mate obviously there will have to be some changes 
gonna shave your skin off one sheet at a time. Take care of it, you as well. Or I'll take care of it for you. Oh, Jesus Christ, Big B. Is that you? Oh, I just want to crank about, um, uh, suppose sympathize of him. Fair enough. How did you shoot so two years and persuade him to talk? Oh, I wasn't expecting that. That's a big one, isn't it? Yeah, it does. He definitely deserves a slap. Yeah. Hey, ten percent of us. Do you know? I'm surprised by that. Because I was going to beat the crap out of him. But he didn't touch me. Well, it sort of did. But only because um, Beauty was there. Some deserve a good slap. But not all. Right, let's continue. Let's do his intro. I'll get there. Sorry, it seems to do on this. So simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. I, I can't tell you anything. You can't or you won't. Snow. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once and. I'm not yours to lose. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. She looks like Holly. It's not Holly, it's her sister Lily. She was looking to pay down debt. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. Open arms. Oh, my God. What is it? <gasps> it's Crane. He's touching up a buggy crutch as well. Dirty prick. So I was uh, looking at my arm. That fucking creep. Spineless little fucking rat. Crane? Ugh. God, you'd think you'd know a person. Bigby, you have to tell her. I know! What's going on? What did you find up there? You know, other than the... Crane's the killer. What? Ichabod Crane? How do you know? Shit! Crane's been... Oh, Bigby, calm down. Everything's going to be fine, okay? It's going to be fine. Will someone please explain this to me? That perverted little fucker might be after Snow. I need to find her right now. Okay, it's, it's going to be okay. Where did you see her last? Did she say where she was going? She took Holly to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the trip trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the Bridge. Trip trap? Are you drinking? When? Right now. They were on their way out. Big B. Pretty aim bombs out of. Wait. What? Snow's. Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just please be careful when you tell her. What are you trying to say? You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Just remember that. So you just walk it. So 
so I slings him my arm. He's bugging the crap out of him. Doesn't do his own thing. Buckingham Ridge. circle. People she trusted and cared for. I won't um, offend you by claiming one day that that the pain of losing Lily will ever subside. I know as well as you that it will never subside. But I also know that, that Just the memory listen, really. of Lily will sustain as well. And it will, in time, equal in strength to our mourning her loss. And it is in that spirit that I'd like to talk about what you've all been so grateful I'll to share I'll miss worrying you. about you. Your memories. I'll miss our fights. How she could be I'll miss stubborn you. and Holy. patient, rash and thoughtful. How she carried a torch for the old ways. Now you will never die or from or indifference and lead a tedious life. And most of all, Goodbye, sweetheart. it seems how Thanks for everything. Lily loved Vivian. Dearly loved her yeah, friends Vivian. and family. She loved being around them, in good times and bad. You were a I big, never met bright, Lily shining star friend. in this shithole of a town. I know in my heart yeah. I miss you already. she would have liked to be here. Yeah. And now we'll have our um, moment of silence. Thank you. Bigby, is everything okay? No, <coughs> not you. Holly, it's... He wasn't fucking invited. Holly, wait. He has no right to be here. Not Fuck after off. what he did. Holly, I'm sorry, but I had to come. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve to show your face here? After you lie? After you promise me? But in. Holly, wait. That was Crane. Just Crane. He disposed of <coughs> Lily's body before Big B could do anything about it. Motherfucker. I'm telling you the truth. Don't cover for him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. You can't tell me Big B gives a shit about this. Crane's a fucking prick, so this doesn't surprise me. Hey, what do you know? We actually agree on something. Big B cares, Holly. He's trying to help, and I'm sure he has a very good reason for being here. But this one isn't on him. Mm. Why are you here anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Everything okay? I think I know who murdered your sister. Who? Maybe we should talk about this somewhere else? What? No, I deserve to know. I know, I, I know, but... This isn't the way to go about this. I don't give a fuck about the way. I don't care about procedure. If anyone should be told, it's me. It's us. Right now. I came here to talk to Snow about this. No, screw that. My sister's dead, and I don't give a shit who she looked like when it happened. It's not about her. It's about Lily. Just tell us who it was. Okay, oh. everyone, just stop. Bigby and I are going to have a little chat while everyone else gets back to the funeral. What? I'm not just gonna sit here Please, and... Please, I promise I will tell you what the hell is going on just as soon as I know there's something to tell, but... Just let us do our jobs first. Look, Holly, I know how this must... No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Don't fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. You hear me? Of course. You won't even know I'm here. Let's just continue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. 
It's your turn to talk. That's all fucked up, did I? <clears throat> Could have told him. Fuck you. Okay, you think you know who the killer is. What have you got? Digby? Crane murdered Lily. What? I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the Open Arms. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least Lily, and making her look like you while he was, you know. The bed was covered in blood. I know it was him. This is... I don't even know what to say right now. I really don't. I'm just trying everything I can right now to not picture it. We should go. You're sure this is what happened? This is what he's been doing? Because please, Bigby, don't confuse things. You took a cab here, right? Yeah. I'll drive. Snow? Narissa? What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. I don't mean to be... Um, no, I understand. No, I get it. Take your time. It won't take long. <clears throat> How'd it go? At the motel? Did you find anything? No? Yeah. Lily was killed there. It was an awful mess. Oh. I'm sorry. Nerissa! Yeah, um... Coming! Hmm. Constable? Wait, wait, wait. Easy now, girl. You know how this goes. The first thing in a visit, you say, how do you do? How do you do? That way, it's proper. Now is really not the time for whatever you jagoffs are planning to do. Well, isn't that the thing of it? Plans. Except it isn't our plans you should be concerning yourself with. We'll snip to the chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fitting to go after Crane. And you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. Just take a little vacation is all. Don't even have to go anywhere. You have three seconds to fuck off before this goes to a place you don't want it to. Oh, I don't have my stopwatch on me. So what's it gonna be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone, and we leave you to yours? Brother, speak your mind. Fastly now. What's it gonna be? Just don't hurt anyone, D. That don't sound like a yes to me. Always wanting to do things the fun way. Ladies, gentlemen, invertebrates, please, rest easy. This is not... What the hell is going on? What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're unhappy to report that things did not go as smoothly as planned. Bigby, what is he talking about? Never you mind that, it ain't any of your... What deal? I'm not making any deal with you. So just get the fuck out of here and leave these people alone. Nah. Let's go. <clears throat> what did I tell you? What did I say? Ali? You think you motherfuckers could come here uninvited? You think you could just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Calm down, darling. It was just a simple business transaction. You fucking freaks are not getting away with this. Polly, don't move. Lee, let me handle this. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a dead hole. Oh. I'm gonna kill you!
You can do it. Oh, fuck's sake. That really did not go to plan. Oh, I don't see if she's dead as well. Well, I sort of fucked that up, didn't I? Oh, well. Nothing ever goes to plan. I also know there's a snitch. I see a beauty or the beast. Little fucking grasses. No one likes grass, do they? Who the fuck's him? Oh, Doctor. I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually warm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're gonna be sore. Bigby, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fable Town physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. <clears throat> Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. How's everyone else? They all make it. They're fine. Hey. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived. So I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. The Titans, Bigby. They'll be fine. Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. Everything in moderation. And uh, eat more chicken. Your blood pressure's through the proverbial roof. Yeah. I'll try to. Alright then, very good. This so I can't office. really fight anyone. I know, I'll have to call you back. <coughs> the town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White, Big B. So, to recap... Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms, and then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. And we know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. That about cover it? Once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I guess that's the plan, currently. But, I, I don't know. There's no other leads. This is it. Just wait for the mirror. Yeah. What the hell is going on? Just Do you know this crane will take a piece as well? The Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if I mean, this is gonna sound crazy, but do you really think Crane did it? Everything points to him. I get it, but do you really think he killed those women? I'm as confused as you are, to be honest. I don't know. It just doesn't make sense. He's... he was a conniver, a, a coward, a liar, and I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he held me in his thoughts. But murdering prostitutes? Ow! Everything okay over there? Give me yes, a cell. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. Give me him. Thanks for tonight, by the way. That could have gone really terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. I just can't fucking stand that they got away. <clears throat> we'll catch up to them, Bigby. You did enough. Can I, um, ask you a question? It's kind of personal. Oh yeah, cool. And I don't want to offend you, but after tonight, it's on my mind. Why? What's on your mind? It's just... 
When stuff hits the fan, like, like it did tonight, it feels like before we came to the city. It feels kind of like home. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way deep inside, you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong. Because it gives you an excuse to just, you know, stop pretending. Fuck no, I don't enjoy it. Are you kidding me? It's horrible what happened tonight. I wish it didn't happen. I shouldn't have said anything. Forget that I did. Uh, hey guys? I did enjoy really, but... We have a problem. What is it? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Fucking do it. What do you mean, missing a piece? <coughs> yes, it's, uh... Crane must have taken a shard with him. Oh, I can't believe this. I saw what it does. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. Well, the mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No. All right. How long will it take for the mirror to reform? Well, it could take days. Or months, or years. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. We can still solve this ourselves. I know Never that mind it... that. Come help me look. Oh, bless him. The crazy alcoholic. Hi, Mr. Bigby. I can still help you catch Crane, you know. Oh, yeah? Yes. I saw him jump on the telephone before he left. Ooh. He called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that <coughs> is. His witch? Yes, it sounded like the one he got his snow blamers from. Hmm. You didn't see anything else, did you? No, not, uh, not especially. Hmm. Look, uh, the whole mirror thing, it's not your fault. All right. Y you mean it? Yeah. No. I'll just see if I can do anything about this. You do that. Must be on it. Oh, well, Facebook's no good. Oh, oh, you're good, though. What the hell are you doing? Alright. Oh, there's a key. What is it? It's the key to his room at the open arms. You still haven't told me what was in there. I want to know. Crane was, uh, paying Lily to live out a fantasy. Of him and you, together. Forgive me if I spare you the details. I keep thinking back. I keep replaying moments in my head. Interactions with him when he'd catch me in the elevator or bump into me outside. <sighs> There's only so much you can repress, you know? Snow, you, you couldn't have known. No, I could have. Come on, let's keep looking. Right, well, like. Just start of you. Is there any updates on the extra funding I requested to explain uh, the last set of conditions? Who's Bobby Smith? Asking, can you please send on six acres in our uh, apartment? Boy Blue. Oh, joy as well. 
Yeah, I said I have to say pass to redeem building if it's Mr. Tide. Did Crane ever do any work? Only when Cole was around. Strong man. There's a page here that was torn out. Oh yeah? Bufkin, do you know what was here? The king It's of a Earth. ring, at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Wait, what witch? Buffkin overheard Crane set up a meeting with a witch. Well, yes, it sounded like the one he got his, uh, you glamours from. It must be about this ring. Hmm. Why not mention this before? No one asked me. Buffkin! And I'm hungover. I'm sorry. <laughs> he set the meeting at 2 a.m. tonight. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I Rita. called just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? No, it can't be fixed. It's missing a piece. This is none of Bluebeard's business, Bigby. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? We don't know if he's the murderer. Oh, please. Of course he is. Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror, so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. Which witch? A.M. or P.M.? <laughs> A.M. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. Define help. Why do you even care about this? Why? I'm invested in this enterprise we call Fable Town. <laughs> Literally invested. Since it's mostly my money that keeps the whole thing running. And tonight I hear that Crane has been killing Fables? And there's no system in place to catch him? Look, we know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. Put you in charge in the first place. Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that Who doesn't... elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years now. Unofficially is not officially. Snow can obviously handle this, so let's drop it. Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. Hmm. <laughs> All right, yes. let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And that he'll be there at two. So that gives us a few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours the more you babble about it. We haven't been the ones babbling. Yeah, yeah. Just point in the direction you want me to check first. Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they'd never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else. The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. Look. Chances are I'll have to swing by both anyways. No, so. chances are you won't have time. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock! <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just... Can't go up there alone, all right? Fucking angry man, I have no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. 
Oh, now it's evidence. Before you had no interest, and now it's a crime scene. Bluebeard, just stay out of it, all right? You'll just mess things up further. They can't get any more messed up. We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. And is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. Look, this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. Where are you gonna go, Bigby? I'm gonna to, to a dumb to a D because they're fucking wound me up. <clears throat> so you leave Crane alone, and we leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy, and I don't need charity. Well. I'll Oh, crazy apartment. I'll go to these office. Must know where he is. I should go to their office first. Perfect. And I'll go to Crane's apartment. I'll look up their address. I hope you know what you're doing. I don't. It's one in three chance, isn't it? But the D's, uh, I've got an issue with him, so uh, I'm going to beat him up. Drop kick him. But I'm going to pause there for the episode. Uh, it's getting late, you know, it's going to get very juicy, but it always does that, doesn't it? It's easier. But yeah, I uh, hope you guys are joining anyway. But um, I think it's bedtime for me, because it's uh, one o'clock in the morning. So I'm going to say goodbye. See you tomorrow. Well, see you when I see you next. Bye-bye.